I won't be using this frame because of the damage that I discovered. I was willing to uh, weld on the new outriggers on here where the other ones had rusted away, but when I discovered how this is bent, and you can see it's, it's very pronounced there, the car was evidently hit on the left front. And of course, you can also see where this is bent. And I just said, you know, we'll just go get another car because this car didn't have the proper bonnet anyway. And it worked out. That's all for now. Okay, making progress. Today's project is going to be removing the engine, drivetrain, suspension off this frame to strip it down to a bare frame and give it to my buddy Alex. And he's going to use the body off the other car and build a Pro Mod, I believe he called it. He'll basically just be using this frame as a mock up to determine where the pickup points for the body would be. But I'm happy that it'll be going to a good home, either later today or tomorrow at the latest. Okay, we're going to get started setting up the engine hoist, remove the engine transmission. We always have to start off with some libation. Well, there's no substitute for having the right tool. Look at that. Nice and easy. Next is going to be the spring mount. That looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Well, it's a 5 8 bolt and then an 11 16 nut. I tried to do it by hand and it's not going to work, so I'm going to have to get the impact out. And before anybody makes a comment, yes, I did soak them yesterday in penetrant. Alright, that was to be expected. Easy peasy. Note to self, in the future, I put the bolt back in just for the moment. The bolt goes in from the back side facing forward, the nut on the front. And then once that's removed, here comes the spring. That will be trashed and replaced with a different spring. Likely going to go with a Spitfire spring because the GT6 spring may be too stiff 
because that's accommodating, uh, uh, taking into account the weight of the Spitfire body, uh, which is less than the GT6 body, it's heavier. And some people have uh, commented to me that that's something to kind of pay attention to. So initially I'll probably go with a Spitfire spring on this Spit 6 project. Air tools. Shut up. That's the darndest thing. I've never had a impact wrench run away like that, but probably something wrong on the button. I do keep them oiled, so maybe she just wore out. Regardless, they're not that expensive to buy a replacement one. No matter what the project, there's always one. Able to get the nut off, the bolt will turn, but I think the bolt itself is seized up against the metal sleeve that's uh, there's a metal sleeve there's the bolt there's a metal sleeve the rubber insulator and then the lower control arm so I tried driving it out it just spins it just turns it doesn't uh, it's, it's rusted uh, well rust welded so to speak so the solution is going to be to get a uh, abrasive cutoff tool. Well, having to grind off the head. Well, I got it out. I was able to grind off the head. It's still seized up in there, but I can probably use my hydraulic press. Now that's bent up a little bit, but I'm not too concerned because all that's going to likely get washed off anyway when my friend goes to build his uh, ProMod GT6 out of this frame. <laughs> 